Yeah, this is ending in a new beginning. This is starting the new chapter with the world. Somebody's ending a closing out a cycle and starting a new one. After losses, betrayals, disappointments, hurts, grief. Show me this person, whoever this is, thinking of, this is somebody thinking a lot. Divine Feminine, you could be contemplating a lot, but I feel like it's mainly, you guys are both healing, bringing in an emotional balance. Both of you guys are balancing out your feminine and masculine energies also. This is also with this Two of Pentacles. This is balancing out the your material world, physical world. This is everything starting to sync up. And this is exactly where we're supposed to be for 2022. Okay, something about somebody's sister. This flip flew out. Let me see this. Um, let me see this moon reverse first. Doing everything the hard way. Somebody found out they were doing everything the hard way. Okay. So let's see what this is. Whoever, somebody's sister. What is this sister energy here for? Okay, fire magic. card on who somebody's sister or functioning but not much more this flew out on top of sister somebody's is this show me more sister yeah this is out reverse so somebody's sister was trying this could be a karmic sister maybe you're the sister Somebody's sister or karmic sister has been trying to blind, keep them blindfolded from the truth. Because we got uh, one, two, three, four wands here with these candles. And then one, there's a little cat. Um, sister could be a bitch or something like that. Somebody could dealing, be dealing with somebody with a bitchy sister or something. You got this cat here knocking over this other candle. So this is somebody trying to come in between some type of uh, plans, motivations, goals. But this to me symbolizes with the four candles. That's like the four wands, the union, 1111, reconciliations, spiritual um, stability, Let's see what this is. Somebody's sister. Sister. Page of Wands. Yeah, somebody is very, very focused. Very, very focused on some new, um, could be some type of a new endeavor, new business. This is a lot of fire energy, a lot of uh, passion, action, getting ready to take place.
This is also some good news coming through. A lot of you guys are going to be receiving good, exciting news. He's very focused towards a future. Let me see this sister. This person, whoever this is, is not focused on a sister or... Yeah, this person's not focused on a sister. Yeah, because whoever that is is just weighing them down, placing heavy, heavy burdens on them or unnecessary responsibilities on them. This, whoever this is, has got a lot of baggage, lots and lots of baggage, heavy burdens. This person's very insecure. Yeah, this is someone's sister, or maybe you're the sister watching. I don't know. Strength reverse. This person's very weak, cowardly, insecure, very arrogant, selfish. Very aggressive. This is like a bitter Betty right here. Very cold-hearted. This person has very, very bad intentions. This person doesn't... This sister or sisters, however many, doesn't have any good intentions, any good intentions at all. Trying to manipulate you, deceive somebody. Somebody's sister's been trying to keep them blind to the truth. Because that person... You're rejecting um, whoever this is, a sister you're rejecting. I see a male here in this card rejecting this person. Yeah, you're just like, leave me alone. I'm not, leave me alone. Could be watching you also or spying on you. This is a very, very nosy female. Give me another card here. Inner conflict. So this is, this person's trying to come in between some sort of union. You're trying to make things happen, you're trying to make things, um, you're manifesting, somebody's manifesting, it could be a homecoming or some celebration, anniversary is, anniversaries are here also, what I'm getting, you're trying to make things happen, but somebody's trying to create some type of conflict, this female is trying to create some type of conflict, this female is saying a lot of things to try to create trouble or manipulate a situation, Inner conflicts, disharmony with oneself or choices that you've made that will not take you down the best path, path, the difficulty within oneself. This is a, this, this female here is tripping. Show me this functioning, but not much more. Yeah, this is clarity. Could have something to do with the legal system. There's Libra. So here is a sister or a mother, some sort of mother figure. Yeah, you're rejecting this person. This person doesn't have any self-love also. So this is everybody healing the um, karmic feminine um, traumas, unhealthy attachments, codependency. Whoever this is, is very, very codependent upon you. They don't have no type of self-love for themselves at all. At all. Like, at all. You, with this um, card here, you know the truth. You see the truth. You know the truth. Okay, this female knows the truth also. Maybe you could have two sisters. These sisters know the truth, but trying to keep you blind to some sort of truth. You're going down some new path with that page of wands. Yeah, you're leaving this person out in the cold. This person could be struggling five and five. Yeah, this person's having a lot of challenges in their life. Whoever this is, whoever sister or sisters. 
Five of Wands, Five of Coins. Yeah, this person has nothing. This person's miserable. The sister is miserable and bitter. Could be struggling in the material world, insecure, feels neglected, feels abandoned, feels left behind. This is this person's, um, this person has this, this internal struggle within herself though. She got some type of internal war within herself. Could be fighting, you could be fighting with one of your sisters. There's a lot of fighting, drama, competition, rivalry, could be some sort of sibling rivalry. Yeah, this is nothing but just drama and chaos. Could be fighting. This looks like somebody fighting or competing, fighting over money, resources, some sort of stability. Or there's some type of competition over some sort of stability or money. This is poverty right here. You could have left, you could have left your sister out in the cold or kicked her out or something like that. The karmic females are being rejected in general. Sister, mother, aunts, whoever in general. But whoever this is, this is for somebody's sister is not functioning. Functioning, but not much more. This person has no love at all. Give me one more card. I'm gonna move forward. Somebody's sister. This came out by the five of coins. Unconditional love is a goal. This person doesn't have that in their life at all. Why is this person, what is this? Let me see. Entering into a new frame of mind. Yeah, you're changing your mind state. You're changing your frame of mind. This female is not able to do that for some reason. She looks like she's holding on to repressed trauma from the past or some sort of, sort of hurts. That's her own inner conflict with herself. No. What is this sister, whoever this is, trying to blind somebody from the truth? You already know the truth or you figured some sort of truth out? Or some sort of secret, some hidden effort. Uh oh, I keep snagging that with my robe. You've already figured out whatever was hidden. You've already figured it out. Whatever, some type of, this is mysteries being unveiled, secrets being unveiled. Eight of wands, some sort of communication. You're moving forward. Things are changing. Things are changing and they're changing fast. Yeah, somebody's moving on. Somebody's straight up moving on. Why is it, what is this person trying to? Because you're trying to take, you're taking your power back and creating a new life for yourself, being the leader and director of your own life. What truth is this female or sisters trying to blind somebody to? You already know the truth. Yeah, this is somebody in your family. Seven of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. Could have something to do with a child or a pregnancy. Could have something to do with investments, investment properties. This is some sort of investment waiting period. Ace of Wands, you're inspired, motivated. Some new passionate beginning. Could be investing into some sort of new um, project. Let me see this Ace of Wands. What is this person trying to keep somebody blind to? Venus towards your divine feminine. Venus 
could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. This person's trying to keep you blind to... It looks like love. Love, your divine feminine, the empress. This person's trying to keep you from enjoying your life, from enjoying... This is cherishes here. Enjoy charm, art, beauty, love, good times, pleasure. This person is trying, doesn't want you to have that in your life. Wow. That right there tells you this person, sisters are miserable, whoever. Because this person doesn't have that in their life at all. Let me see another card here. Show me the seven of coins and ace of wands. I'm trying to keep you blind to the truth. This came out on top of that. Wanting to cry. Cry over what? Getting the results that you hoped for. Somebody's mad and wants to cry because you're getting the results that you were hoping for? What the fuck? Someone has their feelings hurt. Somebody's sister or their sisters are all in their feelings. I don't know. Angry. I don't know what to do, so I just do nothing. I'm very angry right now. What? I don't know. Somebody's family is tripping. Family members. What, what are they wanting to cry? Because you're investing into... You're spending time alone. This person keeps trying to force their way, trying to come in between your uh, spiritual path or just you spending time alone. What the fuck? Show me this hermit. Yeah, this person is trying to block out a relationship or trying to keep you single or something or cause a breakup or something. This, whoever's sister or their sisters, however many is involved, is trying to block this out. <laughs> These people are tripping. You're investing into yourself also. Wanting to cry, why? Somebody's just watching you. Because you're moving forward in your life. This is Cancer energy too. Cancerian energy. You, Somebody's found direction. Somebody wants to cry over that. What the fuck? Getting the results you hoped for. Yeah, that, that contract is ending here. That karmic contract is ending. Could be a separation also. Yeah, somebody's tripping because... You're directing your own life now. The fuck? This person needs to be in a... Um, having your feelings hurt. This person's feelings are hurt because of this. Because you're happy and your wishes are fulfilled or they're getting ready to be. Maybe you have a family... Okay, you're creating a new family or starting a new family or having more kids with somebody, ex expanding your family. What the fuck? Yeah, these people are tripping. See this rainbow here? This is a um, happy family welcoming rainbow. Um, unlimited possibilities of happiness, love, Blessings. This, this rainbow is uh, blessing their home. This is like, um, what do they call that after a movie? The ha the happily ever after. Str troubles, struggles are fading away. It's like whoever this is is becoming more and more happier. After a storm, the, a rainbow follows. Right. This is home, good good home life, good domestic life, good health, love, prosperity, 
It's like, what? Someone's feelings are hurt because you're happy? Oh. Wow. That's mind boggling. That's mind boggling. Anyways, let me see this last one here. Someone's very angry right now. Who, who's angry? Why? Somebody's running from the truth, not speaking, not speaking out. This person's miserable. Uh, this person's miserable, selfish. Could be some jealousy here. There's extreme, extreme jealousy. This person can't sleep. This person's definitely crying or in some sort of despair. This person's troubled themselves. This person's angry because you're in this Ten of Pentacles. You're building with somebody. Maybe you left this female for another woman. What is this night? These people are tripping. What is this Knight of Swords reverse? Confusion. Yeah, this female or females have been trying to confuse you about your reality. You're taking responsibility for your own decisions now or any decisions that may have contributed to, to your current challenges. You're taking care of that. With that magician energy that keeps coming out, you're taking care of that. There's Saturday. Well, that's today. Wow. Uh, this female is running from some sort of truth about something. I don't know. Discontent. You're refusing this person's offer. Your lack of refusing offers. Refusing. You're refusing this female's love. Wow. Forgive yourself now. You're forgiving yourself from your past mistakes or decisions or any type of confusion from the past. You're discontent with this female, especially with this nine of cups reverse. You're bored, confused. You're not interested because you're feeling hope again. You're feeling some sort, sort of hope again. And this female is angry. Children. Something to do with children for some of you guys. Children are currently affecting your connection. Somebody's mending a broken relationship. There's some, this fool out here, this is like four of, what I, how I read this, this is like four of wands energy to me. The four candles, the four flames. This person's trying to burn out this little cat here. So this is like, this female feels like there's a cat there too. This female's got some sort of catty behavior. Drama queen, this is a lot of, this is a drama queen. So she's trying to cause, or maybe this was in the past, um, been trying to cause some type of instability here on somebody's foundation or their union. This could, with the children here, this could be, this female could be a home wrecker. You guys are, see a feminine energy here. The counterparts, divine counterparts are working on harnessing the power to bring about this union or um, coming back and having a reunion. Wow. Uh, how are you angry because somebody's happy? That's mind boggling. Okay, what is this here with some children? Our children are involved or affecting a connection. You could be rejecting this female's children or there's a lots of rejection. Somebody's trying to come in between that. Somebody's trying to get you to focus on the negative also. Nine of coins, ace of wands. You're inspired. You're taking initiatives to create something new on your own. Some of you, this is also somebody here becoming 
independent. This person was taking actions also to be single. For those of you guys in a romantic relationship with whoever this is, this person is taking actions, taking the steps, okay, to free themselves and become single, become independent, or else um, I also see some of you guys becoming independent financially. This female here for sure has, she's got to become independent financially on her own. She could be single. Yeah, this female is single. She needs to spend time alone and self-reflect. This, What does this have to do with some children? person doesn't want to accept some sort of ending. You could be divorcing this female. This female doesn't want to accept some sort of major life change or major um, life transition. Yeah, this female is stuck in the past or trying to control something. This female's got a lot of control issues. You're doing opposite. You guys are doing completely different things. But this karmic females that keep coming out, you're completely focused on working towards the future. When we had that star card that came out, you're completely focused on working um, towards the future to become financially independent. Yeah, you're working on your own happiness. You're working, if this is about finances, this came on top of the financial material independence. You're working on your own, maybe your own business or your own Y'all have two different separate finances here with this female. Maybe that's why she's mad. I don't know. I think she thought you were going to work with her financially or you're not doing that. Whoever this is is not doing that. Yeah, your focus on self. First house. There's Aquarius, 11th house. Yeah, you're focused on working, building towards the future in your partnership or a relationship, romantic relationship. Could be going to court. Could be some of you guys are getting married. Yeah, the fuck? These people are tripping. You're forcing yourself to do this now. You're forcing yourself to take action. This female doesn't want to take action on something. Let me see this. Wanting to conquer... What? Wanting. <laughs> Let me turn this upright instead of trying to read sideways. Wanting to conquer fears of losing you. This female's afraid to lose you or something like that. Who you are, your desires, your actions. Uh-oh. Here's a promise here. I will not settle for crumbs. I deserve a great love in this lifetime. I lost my way for a while, but I'm working on finding myself again. Whoever this is, is making, is planning, working on finding themselves again. I'm planning. I'm not sure what to do next now, but I know, somebody knows, somebody knows secrets. I'm feeling exposed. What is this card that fell on the ground? Somebody's pathetic is what's on the ground. You're so pathetic. This female's pathetic. Show me this for this female. Yeah, this female is pathetic. You're fappy. What the fuck? <laughs> I try to understand, but this is just non it's nonsense. It doesn't make sense. Anyways, you're happy. You're aware that being happy means that you're on the right path. This female or females were not bringing you any happiness at all. You look like you're building with somebody else, a legacy or family or business, some type of inheritance. Some type of long-term stability. Yeah, what the fuck? Anyways. I'm gonna close this out because this is getting long. Something to do with some children. Somebody was trying to confuse somebody about, I don't know. Yeah, you're forgiving yourself now from your mistakes. Yeah, you're trusting your intuition. This was trying to 
So I have reverse. So you weren't trusting your intuition, your inner voice. Somebody was given very, very, very bad advice. Bad counsel. Yeah. You're forgiving yourself now for not doing that. High Priestess. Give me another card here. Yeah, you're trusting your intuition and what your heart is telling you on these karmic partnerships. This, this is my karmic card of the deck. You're bringing balance to the situation. This is also the divine stepping in. This normally would be the temperance card. This is just the top card of this particular deck. Yeah. Ace of Wands, yeah, inspired action, independence, self-mastery, self-development. Some of you guys are, this is, you guys are working on your guys' selves, going within, spending time alone in hermit mode, self-reflecting, soul-searching, because you guys are working on with these people. When you, a lot of you guys are working yourselves out of the bad karma, out of bad luck, out of misfortune or some sort of series of um, misfortunate events. And then there's the death card. Yeah, you're putting your Scorpio, you're putting a death to these toxic fucking mental patients, basically. You're accepting that these people don't bring you guys happiness. You guys have been running from the truth about that or in denial. You've been in denial about this is where, this is where the, excuse me, this is where you guys is, um, you guys been running, somebody's been running from the truth about this. Three of cups, 10 of coins. Yeah. This is good because whoever this is, is on the right track now. This is what this is. This person is getting on the right track now. Going in the right direction now. Getting back to, let me see this, getting back to basics first and then I'm gonna close this out. Somebody was confused for a while or? Getting back to basics. Somebody's been procrastinating on that, procrastinating on taking action. Okay, yeah, now this person is making improvements, coming out of the cold, light at the end of the tunnel. Okay, there's Pisces, hanged man. This is a period, yeah, this is a temporary period to gain more enlightenment, gain more clarity. This person first is pausing, taking a break here to analyze all sides of a situation first. This person's surrendering to their divine path. He's got his hands behind his back. So he's just giving in, surrendering, surrendering to God's will, so to speak. He's got all this light around his uh, crown chakra, so he's becoming more enlightened. He could be dealing with a Pisces. Give me a card here, and I'm gonna close this out. I'm releasing inner demons. This is what this person is doing, or you're doing, whoever. Cleaning up. I'm working on cutting. Some of you guys could just be cleaning your house today. Cleaning up. I'm working on cutting karmic ties. I'm doing the inner work. I'm releasing inner demons. This is what this person is doing. Good. Okay. So I'm going to end this video here. I like this reading today. So I'm going to close this out. And I will see you guys on the next video. Namaste. Take care.